Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel and hi, welcome if you're new here. I hope you're doing very well today. Um, so today's video is going to be a heatless curl video. So I have, as the summer months are approaching, I'd really like to use less heat on my hair. So I don't dry it and straighten it too often, maybe twice a week um, using straighteners on it. I obviously use heat protection spray. Um, when I'm using that but I'd really like to cut that down to maybe once a week. So I think my hair is naturally curly, it's definitely naturally frizzy. So I bought some products to try and tame the curls and this is going to be a product review video. Um, so I bought Only Curls which is a brand that a friend recommended and says it's really really good. So I got the starter pack so in it it has the cleanser so the shampoo the conditioner it's got hydrating curl cream because apparently the secret to good curls is have them not dry and have them nice and moisturized so i'll use that and enhanced curl gel so i think that's what i'll use today but i also bought the only curls volumizing curl mousse to try on another day so i'm going to be doing some experiments with my hair and try and get the nicest curls that i possibly can so last week I did a kind of natural curl experiment where I washed my hair, I dried it with a cotton t-shirt rather than a towel and I just left it to dry it a little bit itself and then I put some scrunching jelly in it and just left it dry naturally and I'll show you a clip of how that turned out. Didn't think it was brilliant, um, the curls were not nice and big and defined or anything so I'll let you see that now, but I'm hoping today I can get some really nice natural curls using these products. So first of all, whilst I'm going and washing my hair and using all of these, I'll show you a clip of how last week's experiment turned out. So I did a little experiment with my hair and I washed it and dried it. Um, sorry, washed it with my usual shampoo, which is just the, I think it's Umberto Giannini, like honey something. And I left it to dry itself, but I did use the curl jelly, which I've always used. Um, it kind of tames the frizz, but it doesn't make the nicest of curls. So I thought I would do it just to see how it turns out. It's not 100% dry, but you can see it's not like the nicest of curls. So that'll probably go up in a bun tomorrow. But I thought... Let's see how it would look with kind of my old normal products. This is kind of how it is in the summer when I just leave it to dry quickly by itself. It's get, got a little bit of frizz. The curls are not, I mean, look at that. The curls are not nice curls. They're not defined. They're just kind of raggedy and rat's tailsy. They're not nice. So I'm really looking forward to using the new Only Curls products when they arrive and see the difference that I can get my hair to do. Um, when I use those rather than just kind of leaving it to dry on its own with no product in it. Hi, so this is the next day. Apologies if you can hear Gabby's dollhouse in the background. Little one's just um, watching that. <laughs> so this is the next day of my hair. So it's slept on since yesterday when I showed you it and it was um, quite tight, not quite fully dry. Um, it has come down a little bit. I'd say this side, this side here is much frizzier. Um, it's not defined at all, it's just kind of frizzy waves, it's not lovely. This side's a bit nicer, maybe I've put more scrunching jelly on this side. The ends are not brilliant, I do need to get um, the ends all chopped off to make it a bit healthier. So hopefully when I do the Only Curls experiment, it's going to be a lot nicer and a lot more defined than just like frizzy blah, mess. Hi, so I am back. Um, so I've washed my hair. I um, dried it with a cotton t-shirt again and sort of kind of tied it up in the t-shirt and um, secured it with a bobble whilst I did my makeup and that kind of soaked up some of the moisture out of it. Then I brushed it out with a wide tooth comb and here we are. So next step is to put in the hydrating curl cream. So it says, apply to cleansed and conditioned soaking wet hair Using your hands, apply to hair from root to tip. Tilt head forward and scrunch into curls in an, up, in an upwards motion. 
So that's what I'm going to do. So I've got quite a lot of hair, so I'm going to use a fair amount. I'm going to try this much to begin with. So yeah, let's, let's go for it. So I'm going to move this chair and I'm just going to tilt my head forward and start putting it through. There we go. So scrunch, scrunch, scrunch in an upward motion. So that is that step complete. And the last step I'm going to do today is the enhancing curl gel. And that says apply generously to cleanse and condition wet hair again. Using your hands, apply to hair from root to tip. Tilt head forward and scrunch into curls in an upwards motion. So same again, I think. So again, I'm just going to try that much to begin with. I'm going to tilt my head forward again. And apply and scrunch. So it's looking super curly already from this angle. I wonder how they're going to dry. I'm so excited to see how this turns out. Oh, and the sun's out and everything. So I'm just going to leave it like this now and see what happens. I can already see. I know they're still wet and a bit rat's tails -y, just like the previous experiment, but I genuinely think this is going to work so much better. I'm just going to put a little bit more of the enhancing curl gel on this outside bits because when I had my head upside down, I think I mostly applied it to the back. Okay, so I'm just going to go and wait on this to dry and I'll check in with you a little bit later and let you know how it's going. But so far, it's looking like it's going to be nice. So I'll catch you in a bit. Hello everyone, I thought I'd just do a little hair update. Um, so it's maybe about four hours since I washed it and put all the products in. So I'll move away from the black wardrobe as the background so you can actually see. Um, so this side I think actually looks better than the other side. It, you can see the definition in the curls much more. This side actually isn't too bad. It must have been the bathroom mirror that I'd just been looking in <laughs> that made it look a bit frizzier. Um, I'll show you from the back. So you can see lots of curls. I am. I am impressed. I really like it. Maybe I could use the mousse as well just to get a little bit more definition but actually overall I'm really impressed so I think it's dry now. It dried relatively quickly. quickly quicker than probably if I had just used my curling jelly like I used to. So it's only lunchtime just now. Um, I'll see how it goes the rest of today and I'll probably, I will tie it up to sleep tonight and then I'll show you what it's like in the morning when it's been slept on and compare it to how it is just now. But overall, I'm impressed. I'm really glad I, brought, I bought it and I'm looking forward to having heat-free curls in the summer. Hello, so here we are on the next day. Um, so I've slept on the curls last night. I did put a bobble in. So I usually, I usually sleep with my hair tied up anyway so it doesn't get all over my face and everything. So the curls have come out quite a bit and it's just gone a bit old, kind of like it was in the first trial um, where they're not very defined. But I do have some um, curl mousse so I might actually try that and just scrunch it all back up again. But I'm about to go outside and it's like minus something out there. Um, so I'll maybe wait and do that when I come back because it's freezing. So yeah, so I think I'll end the vlog here. Um, thank you for watching the review of that. I think the, the stuff is amazing. I think if I keep using it and get all the kind of sulfates and stuff out of my hair by using the nice cleansing shampoo, it might actually make a difference to the curls. They might get better. So I'm going to keep going with it. Um, and I've also got that mousse. So I'm going to try that one day where I used the shampoo, the conditioner, and then just the mousse and none of the other stuff and just see, just kind of try it, experiment and see see what how it all goes. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on. Thank you for watching this video. Um, and I hope to see you again soon in another video. Ciao later.